Taylor Swift knocks out Scooter Braun. Step into a world where power plays and music legends collide, setting the stage for a tale of industry intrigue and high-stakes drama. Picture this, Taylor Swift vs. Scooter Braun, the icon whose musical journey has captivated and inspired millions and an industry juggernaut with a reputation for bold moves who made a maneuver that sent shockwaves rippling through the music scene. What's the deal, you ask? Prepare yourself for a journey where business meets betrayal as we peel back the layers of Scooter Brown's acquisition of Big Machine Label Group. This label not only has the works of numerous artists but also held the keys to Taylor Swift's iconic first six albums. Intrigued yet? Stay tuned as we uncover the untold story behind one of the most controversial moments in music history. You've heard the rumors, you've seen the drama, but now it's time to uncover the juicy details behind Taylor Swift's epic takedown of Scooter Braun. Trust us, you won't want to miss this. So what's the dealio, you ask? Well, let us break it down for you in the true celebrity gossip fashion. It all started when Scooter Braun, the powerhouse music manager known for representing artists like Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande, acquired Big Machine Label Group the record label that owned Taylor Swift's first six albums. This move meant that Scooter Braun now owned the master recordings of Taylor's music, a fact that didn't sit well with the superstar. This made Taylor take to Tumblr to express her anger that Scooter had swooped in and snatched up the rights to her beloved master recordings and purchased a big machine label group. The record label that owned Taylor Swift's first six albums for $300 million. Cue the popcorn, folks, because this feud just went from 0 to 100 real quick. Scooter Raps or Rapped Kanye West is kind of unclear, but this is important as Taylor has had issues with him in the past. She even says any time Scott Bruschetta has heard the word Scooter Braun escaped my lip, it was when I was either crying or trying not to. He knew what he was doing, they both did. Taylor Swift took to social media to express her outrage, accusing Scooter Braun of bullying her throughout her career and orchestrating the acquisition as an act of revenge. The feud quickly escalated with both sides firing shots at each other in the media and on social platforms. The tangled web of the music industry. Scooter Braun, the man in the middle of it all, represented none other than Kanye West when he dropped Famous, the very song that Taylor Swift referenced in her ongoing dispute. Now, let's break it down further. Taylor claims she was stuck in a contract where she could only earn back one album at a time for every new one she delivered. Talk about a slow grind. At that rate, it would take her a decade to regain ownership of all her albums. And here's the kicker. Even after all that time, Big Machine would still be holding onto some rights. It's like trying to untangle headphones. It's a mess. And nobody seems to have the right cord. Amid the social media storm ignited by Taylor's post, Justin Bieber steps into the fray. Initially, his statement appears conciliatory, perhaps even offering an apology for any past wrongdoings towards Taylor. However, as the dust settles, Justin shifts gears. Like a conductor leading a symphony, he begins to defend Scooter's character, subtly suggesting that Taylor may have overstepped her bounds. It's a move that sets the stage for a tense standoff, with reputations on the line and the spotlight glaring brightly. Given the long-standing relationship between Justin and Scooter dating back years, it's evident that Scooter played a pivotal role in Justin's career. In the aftermath of Taylor's initial post, a wave of statements surged forth from various celebrities with each individual taking sides in what quickly escalated into an all-out public skirmish. It was as if the torrent of opinions couldn't be contained, as celebrities from all corners of the entertainment world joined the conflict, amplifying the intensity of the dispute for all to see. Alright, let's breeze through this part quickly so we can dive into Scott Bronchetta's statement. First up, Todd Recall, Taylor's close friend and former client of Scooter stepped in to defend her. He didn't mince words as he branded Scooter as an evil person solely focused on wealth. Listen to these CDs of sick beats, but you should read the fine print on the contract. These were words from his song Straight out of O's blah blah blah. Allison, a partner at Hooters, took a jab at Todrick's statements, suggesting they were as off-target as a dart thrown blindfolded. However, Todrick wasn't about to let his words go unchallenged. Like a savvy detective, he swiftly presented evidence to back up his claims. 
leaving Allison's argument looking flimsier than a paper napkin. Looks like this verbal showdown is heating up faster than a plate of spicy wings at Hooters. As the drama unfolded, Cara Delevingne chimed in, taking a dig at Justin's post and directing her criticism towards him and his wife Haley with pinpoint precision. Her allegiance to Team Taylor couldn't be clearer if it were written in flashing lights. Joining her were other notable figures like Halsey, Katy Perry, Rihanna, and Martha Hunt, reportedly throwing their weight behind Tyler in this heated dispute. It's a star-studded lineup showing support for the pop princess. Celebrities from all corners of the entertainment world rallied behind Swift, expressing their solidarity and condemning the power of dynamics at play in the music industry. The hashtag I stand with Taylor trended on social media as fans and supporters voiced their outrage over the treatment of artists by record labels and management companies. Scooter's wife, Yil, went ahead to release a statement condemning Taylor. Meanwhile, Demi Lovato took to social media with a post declaring, I have dealt with a lot of bad people in the industry and Scooter is not one of them. He's a good man. Personally, I'm grateful he came into my life when he did. Please stop dragging people or bullying them. There is enough hate in the world as it is. Y'all can come after me if you want, but I'm always gonna stay loyal to my team. I value loyalty more than most people in the world and if my name is gonna be brought into conversations, I'm gonna stand up for myself and the ones on my team. This declaration unmistakably aligns Demi Lovato with Team Scooter, solidifying her stance in support of Scooter Braun amidst the ongoing controversy surrounding his acquisition of Big Machine Label Group. Looks like Demi is riding shotgun on the Scooter train, ready to rock and roll to the twists and turns of the music industry's wild ride. You could say she's all geared up to defend Braun's action, making her the engine that keeps Team Scooter chugging along on the tracks of controversy. It's worth noting that Demi is Scooter's latest client, adding an interesting layer to her statement. As celebrities continue to weigh in, Scott Bruschetta, the owner of Big Machine, decided to share his perspective on the matter. The classic case of the midnight bombshell drop, Scott claims he generously gave Taylor a heads up around 9 p.m. The night before the sale news exploded into the public sphere. But hold the phone, literally. With Taylor potentially tucked away in London, that so-called courtesy call would have hit her around 3 a.m. her time. Talk about a wake-up call of epic proportions. And here's the kicker. He's quick to mention that Taylor's dad is a shareholder in Big Machine. Now, isn't that a family affair? It's like a real-life soap opera, complete with late-night phone calls and surprise plot twists. Looks like the drama extends far beyond the stage in this music industry melodrama. Although Taylor's representative informed Entertainment Tonight that he chose not to participate in the cult to avoid withholding private information from Taylor, Scott Broschetta also provided a screenshot of the contract they were negotiating in 2018. But Taylor Swift wasn't about to back down. In a bold move to reclaim control over her music, she announced her plans to re-record her entire back catalog, effectively devaluing the master recordings owned by Scooter Braun. This strategic maneuver not only sends shockwaves to the industry but also rallies support from fans and fellow artists alike. Talk about a boss move. Well, 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 it seems like Taylor was ready to strike a deal offering a seven-year earn-back agreement. But hold on to your hats, folks, because Big Machine wasn't quite ready to dance to that tune. They decided to crank up the drama by pushing for 10 years. Talk about stretching the negotiation like a piece of chewing gum. And here's the cherry on top. Under this extended arrangement, Big Machine would hold onto the reins, maintaining the final say over all decisions. It's like they're conducting a symphony, with Taylor's fate playing out like a dramatic crescendo. Oh, and let's not forget, they would still have the rights to license Taylor's new materials. It's a musical merry-go-round, and Taylor is stuck spinning in circles. But the drama didn't stop there. Scooter Braun attempted to clap back at Taylor Swift with a series of shady social media posts attempting to discredit her claims and defend his actions. However, his efforts were met with backlash from fans and critics who saw his response as tone-deaf and dismissive of Taylor's concerns. 
Throughout the field, Taylor Swift remains steadfast in her commitments to artistic integrity and creative control. Her resilience and determination to stand up for herself and fellow artists has solidified her position as a champion of artists' rights in the music industry. It's worth noting that in Taylor's recent agreement with Republic Records, she advocated not only for herself but also for other Republic artists to receive higher returns on streaming. With this new deal, Taylor now enjoys full control over her music as she stated, I wouldn't want to do this if I didn't have 100% control. I wouldn't want to do this if it was up to somebody else. As the battle between Taylor Swift and Scooter Braun continues to unfold, one thing is clear. The fight for control over artistic creations is far from over. But with Taylor Swift leading the charge, artists everywhere can rest assured that their voices will be heard and their rights protected in an industry known for its cutthroat tactics and power struggles. And there you have it, the dramatic saga of Taylor Swift's battle against Scooter Braun. From heated social media exchanges to bold career moves, it's clear that Taylor isn't backing down in her fight for artistic control. But what lies ahead in this high-stakes showdown? Stay tuned for more celebrity updates and industry insights right here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for all the latest gossip. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.